guys, it's Thespo. Welcome back to Resin Bell. And today I'm going to be working with these uh, little um, resin ring molds. Uh, you can get them pretty cheap, like on AliExpress and stuff, but they are made really small and pretty much they'll only fit on my pinky. So um, you'll need some of those. These I've already made up from previous pours. Um, and then this is like a little bezel mold you can get from AliExpress. I'm not sure where else, but just to have some kind of bezels to add to the top. And then your UV resin, your UV torch, and a paintbrush, and some little shaker films. So, I'm just uh, painting around the edge with the resin and adding my shaker film and curing. You'll need two shaker films, one for the front and one for the back. And I kind of decided to use these because um, I, you know, I couldn't use them as rings because they're so small, but I wanted to use them somehow because they're just too darn cute, you know. Um, and so I came up with this idea. It's like, well, why don't I just turn them into some little shakers and then I can still use them. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm adding the uh, backs on and um, just uh, you know, painting on some UV resin and adding the back shaker film and curing with the UV torch. So pretty simple and use, you, you know, wipe your brush, your paintbrush, so you can keep using it. Now you can just fill them up. Um, these I'm going to turn into dry shakers uh, just because there's so little um, area in there. Um, they're so skinny. I think you know dry shakers would be best or easiest. Uh, probably you could probably use some um, shaker oil with these and make them oil. But for such a small shaker, I just thought you know dry shaker would work great. So I'm just picking through my little um, sequins. These are some that I got for free um, for an order I put in on AliExpress, and so they just sent me some of these for free. So I use them whenever I can. And uh, yeah, I'm going to add some little uh, polymer clay slices in there too, just to have a nice variety of things. And uh, I'm just kind of going through all my little embellishments to see what I want to put in there. So then a little touch of glitter, just the tiniest bit. I didn't have enough uh, shaker bits in, so I just added a few more. So we'll have a nice little shake shake. Some little glass beads, that kind of thing. And then painting on the UV resin so that it will hold my shaker film on the back, making sure it is completely adhered, and then curing again. Now the last step is uh, going to be, well, no, second to last step, I've got to make my little bezels, so I'm just filling these tiny little things up with some UV resin, and I can uh, cure those. I'm not sure which ones I want to use, so I'm making a few extras just to add on so I can try the different shapes and see which one I like the best. I had this idea for a little while and have been wanting to make it, so I'm glad I finally got a chance to do this. So then just cure your little bezels. And you can use, you know, jump ring or whatever. And usually after I've used the UV torch, I will go ahead and pop it under a nail lamp just to make sure everything is really well cured. Now I'm popping out my little bezel pieces and deciding which ones I want to use. It's too big. I like that. And so now I am just attaching the resin, the bezels to the little rings. A little bit of UV resin and hit it with the lamp. And you are good. Now they're ready to be attached to a key ring or you know, anything you want. So usually, again, I always go over with the uh, nail lamp just to make sure everything's well cured. So usually I dome with epoxy resin because it just does a lot better job, but for something so tiny, I just went ahead and used my UV resin in a very thin layer and, um, and then cured 
like it. And it worked pretty good. For such a tiny little thing, it's not that big a deal. I did have a couple of issues with air bubbles kind of making a weird lump on some of them. And if that happens, all you gotta do is take your mail file and just go ahead and um, and sand it down and then you can just paint on a real thin layer and it should take care of the problem. And it usually, you can't see it, I mean, it, it makes it clear again, so um, it works out pretty well. So now I'm just doing the front after I've already done the back. so weird. I got a new phone and uh, whenever I turn this UV torch on, it makes my phone go really dark. And I don't know, I'm not sure why it does that. It's just very sensitive to really bright lights apparently. But uh, the sound quality is better I think. So let me know what you guys think. Um, so I got a little bit too much on that one and had to pull some off. And making sure my edges the resin is all the way to the edges. This is another one that did one of those weird little bubble things. <laughs> so I had to sand that one as well. But overall it turned out pretty good. And I'm curious the final final cure with the nail lamp as well. And then now I'm just putting some jump rings on and I decided to attach these to some funky paper clips. So here are my finished shaker mini shakers using the, um, the ring molds, these tiny little ring molds, and uh, I really like how that turned out. Um, these are kind of fun. You can use them for bookmarks and let them hang out of your book. The light was against me here, but um, yeah, it's kind of a fun little project, pretty quick, and a good way to use those little tiny rings, you know. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. So please hit that subscribe button if you would. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully soon. Bye!